Good evening. Thanks for joining us for your five news at six. I'm Darren Bob and I'm Erica Thomas. We start tonight with a community left with questions after two dogs were euthanized at the Centerton Animal Shelter. Uh, some say they could have been pets. Five News reporter Jose Carranza brings us how this all happened and what the city of Centerton is now doing to fix this issue. They were having a, a, a wedding ceremony up there and these two dogs showed up. One of the officers went up there um, picked up the dogs, they put them in our kennel. Um, from there, we started trying to find the dog's owners. On the 9th of November, the Cave Springs Police Department had picked up what they believed to be two great Pyrenees outside the Osage House wedding venue. After that week had passed, we took them to Centerton in the hopes that they would either find the owners or the dogs would be adopted out. The following day, we received a call from someone who said they wanted to rem remain anonymous, but that they had learned those two animals had been euthanized. Centerton resident Michael Comet learned of the news, sharing what happened on Facebook. They were very concerned that there was no action being taken. Lieutenant Keith Lawson says that these are the two kennels where the dogs were being kept, separate but together, all for a week while many community members came and visited and gave the dogs food. All of this before being transported to Centerton. We didn't have any trouble out of the dogs at all. They were extremely friendly. They were well socialized. Uh, they, they almost became pets. So when it came out that the dogs were euthanized after being taken to the Centerton Animal Shelter, they were surprised. They don't give us updates about what the dog's behavior is once we leave them with them or whether they get adopted or anything like that. We were surprised that, that they've been euthanized because they've been well behaved here. You know, there's a purpose for euthanasia. If you have a dangerous animal, a dangerous to the public, that's one thing. But doing it out of convenience is a totally different. That's disgusting. We shouldn't treat animals that way. Never should happen. A statement from Captain Christopher Kelly of the police department revealed that an investigation showed there were other options available and that their director's employment was terminated on the 22nd. The mayor has assigned the supervision of the animal shelter under the police department until further notice. The shelter employees will report to Chief Harper or Captain Kelly during the time the shelter is under the police department's supervision. Kelly also tells Five News that there is currently an active police investigation into whether or not any state laws were violated by the director. In Centerton, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, Five News. A statement from the mayor reveals that, quote, a new, more detailed intake form has been created to help identify any issues. Also, any future euthanasia will be done at a vet's office. Meanwhile, Executive Director Jackie Roach of Best Friends in Northwest Arkansas says there are they are saddened to hear the news and says they previously offered to help the shelter and were turned down. Now, the statement went on to say they hope this change of leadership could lead to more work together in the caring for animals at the shelter if you want to read the complete statement from the city and more, you can find the story on our website on 5newsonline.com.